Good morning. Uh, let's begin on some color this time. I'm not going to do very much video wise because, well, yeah, there ain't much to do to do. Um, Dendrobium nobile and well the camera isn't doing just for the colors because this flower is almost green yes um, that's the only one in flower at the moment I've got another one that has a few buds and the rest is starting to come. It's really strange that it's not all at the same time. Um, I have in my grow room. Oh, you see that? Something is nibbling on my nobile. It is the dreaded nobile nibbler. It's probably a snail. I can't find it. It's also very, very tiny, probably. Um, more news. Well, uh, here's the cakey experiment, and I can all oh, I can already see movement. Yeah, Michael. Oh yeah, like this. If I store it like this, the cakeys will grow upright. Well, I can't do that at the moment. But I will keep an eye on it and make sure they grow upright. Um, right in center is Brasia vergosa. Um, both Roger and Michael said that it probably doesn't have a fusarium. Uh, Roger treated it before I got it. Uh, I haven't been able to retreat it because of EU, EU regulations. Yeah, I, I'm going to have to make a trip to Germany because uh, the stuff I need is for sale in Germany. Go EU. Um, I have a humidity of nearly 80 at the moment. I just put on the lights. Uh, ooh, another one that's also one I was eagerly awaiting. That is the Uh, Chantilly lace, and lo and behold, it's producing buds. It should be two, but I think it's going to be one. And they are truly, really, really pretty. Um, Epidendrums don't show anything yet, which is rather annoying. Um, We have here the bud on the Pescatoria, merrily on its way. Yeah, I still haven't done anything about the uh, Ludicias, but ah, I don't think I will. Um, Today is watering, and I'm not going to film that because you already see that. Um, it's gonna be a flush with uh, what's that stuff called? Uh, Epsom salt, yes. Um, a little update for Martin, because he is the one responsible for me having this. Uh, Catacetum, this is the black one. It's not a Fred Clark Yara or a Millennium Magic. It's waking up. 
So, and this one is also starting with stuff, but not that apparent yet, but this one started the same, so. Um, uh, the scrolls say that this one needs to be oh, very secure in its pot because of movement and tra-la-la. But uh, imagine hanging on a tree with wind and tree movement and the occasional troop of monkeys. Uh, how steady do you think that will stand in nature? So, I think we can carefully class that as BS. So, I think I'm going to need the extension, uh, the board extension, because, well, yeah, the roots will probably go a lot longer than I think they will. Um, I have a little disappointment. That's my... Uh, really big jungle bob and well she hears a branch and I was hoping that the rest would do the same it did nay but it's a big spike nonetheless yeah I, I was counting on uh, 25 30 flowers but it's gonna be close to 10 I think um, Oh, yeah, that's the Bratonia. That one is... And you can see there that bulb in the dark. That one. Um, yeah, that got wet and I don't have enough air movement. And that's mainly because the big fan I have makes a lot of noise. And I'm not that deaf yet. So, um, yeah, it has a bit of a soft bulb. More stuff. No, not more stuff. This is it. I'm going to give them a, uh, a happy splash. Uh, oh, yeah. That's just a few more days. And I believe that's also a yellow one with large flowers. And again, it's all on older canes which have already flowered because that one flowered on both plants, purple and pink, uh, yellow. Uh, so I think that has Almost, yeah, I think it's 10 new growth that can flower next year. But I want it now. Yep. You're getting a bath as well. Um, this one is going outside the moment the weather allows it. It's not getting enough light here. Uh, oh yeah, bubble phylum. Beautiful strong new growth. This is a less beautiful, less strong growth. That's a pretty growth. This is the Louis Sander, by the way. Um, more interesting stuff. Uh, uh, that's the um, Epidendrum Parkinsonianum. And well, I have to get it. Well, I need to see what the moss, uh, what's happening beneath the moss, because this one is a goner. And this has a tantalizing nub in here. And I'm not sure what it's doing. Uh, <clears throat> Memoria Crystal Erdman. I wonder when that's going to flower. Yeah. I got it with this, these two. This was everything. And this has grown in the last two years. This is the latest. Uh, my only phalaenopsis, because the little equestrus cakey I got, and you know who you are, it died as I predicted. Mm. 
That's also a jungle bob and it's not doing anything. It could. Why won't you? Yeah, this is going to be a green update, guys. It's not really. My announcement got it when it was two keikis. This is one. Oh, that one. It's not doing much, but it's probably because this one is taking up all the food. That's why I don't like the mount and put up two different uh, pieces because there's always one that gets more. Same as with uh, the pines in the in the bonsai video. There's, as soon as one really starts taking off, then the rest is gone. Uh, I got it when it was just this one. And it made a few smaller ones in the first year. Which should flower next year. And this is the latest. And here we have a terminal leaf. So that's going to drop its leaves very soon. But new stuff is coming. Dendrochylum is starting to root after, well, a year. I just got in this house and decided to split it up, which it didn't like. And then I smacked it on a mount, which it also didn't like. But as you can see there, it's rooting. This one a little less obvious, but you can see that the bulbs are nice, plump, shiny. So that one is also doing okay. Uh, <laughs> more interesting stuff. Well, my Bratonia, this is amazing. It looks like it's moldy, but that's all new roots. And this is the only one that's completely self-supporting. This little fishing line here has absolutely nothing to hold. It's pure plant. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do uh, something new with this Cattleya because, well, it looks rather stupid, I think. Uh, more stuff? No, not more stuff. Ooh, uh, <clears throat> I believe I got this one from Anita, Anita Jan, and it's starting to root. It didn't have any, so that's positive. Yeah, uh, I could waffle on for an hour, but no. This is my uh, large collection of Oncidium types. Man, I got a lot of these. And I've been splitting and rearranging and <coughs> doing stuff. Uh, I think I got 70 at the moment. Uh, this one, yeah, no, this is a jungle bar, no, no, it's guys of gold, sorry, and it's, it's not working, it's still plump, and there aren't really signs of new growth, except for this one, but it's not rooting yet. I know odonto blossoms can be a little slow on the rooting department. If you got a <laughs> another type of oncidium, um, let's say brassias, they root a lot faster. And uh, true oncidiums even faster. Yeah, here. Oh, this is a twinkle. 
and it started rooting here. Oh, there's already a new growth coming. And always keep checking. Ah, there we have. Now let me address that immediately. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. <clears throat> Sorry, it was not tight enough in the pot. Um, this is why it's so important to pick your plants up every time. Oh. And I don't have a really uh, a decent quarantine area, so. I'm going to put it right back and keep an eye on the rest. <clears throat> and you're going to keep them. They won't go away. Because there are always the little bastards that survive. Uh, other stuff. Yeah. Ooh. The Vasevixiella, previously known, known as Cochleantis, which is just as hard to pronounce. Um, this one I got a few years ago in uh, the big box when I bought 20 orchids for 50 euros. And no, it had never performed really good. Well, sorry. It's full of new growth, but they're not picking up. So it is producing on the root department. I'm gonna take it out of this pot, split it up and do something else with it. This one is, well, that's for February 6th. Yes, Cacolat Maxillaria. Uh, very habilis, yes. And I've been doing some research, and I got a feeling that this is not a very habilis because all the pictures I get look really, really different. So, if this ain't a very habilis, then at least two people on the care club don't have a very habilis. Um, more stuff. Well, that's the Mill Miltonia sunset. And you can see it's rooting three beautiful new growth. That's the Cabestania tolimensis. And same story is with the uh, uh, Dendrochylum, this one really rejected remounting. But it's waking up, it's producing new growth, and more importantly, a completely new root system. Uh, Salagi fimbriata. Growing, I need to get this a little lower. Beautiful new growth. That one is starting up, the stalled a little bit. There's also, yeah, it's, it's all new stuff, guys. This is the two minute mount, oh. With some old leaves on. But the new growth is rooting. Yeah. Let's end on some color. Yeah, it looks yellow, but it isn't. <laughs> it really isn't, it's green. <clears throat> oh yeah, maybe... Uh, a big new growth on the 
one of the phalaenopsis types, dendrobiums I have. The rest is, well, little, 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 little. It's not much. Yeah, this is it. <laughs> Damn. Last look. Say hi to the camera. Hi, camera. Yeah, I'm planning on uh, rearranging stuff and get the smaller obsidians, uh, the cuttings like the the Veracosa close up to the window. Oh yeah, uh, some of you have asked me how the hell am I going to water the Pamorphia situated uh, there. Well, uh, how I'm about to water and when I do that, I take I clear that entire rack and then I can fit in between the wall and the table. So it's not much of a hassle. Oh, 21 minutes of absolutely nothing. Uh, okay guys, <coughs> aqua, later.